Hi guys. Well, I brought you to the Quran today, which is this great big beautiful building. And uh, I have taken a picture of the plaque. Um, but the, the basic story is that it was a governor and his wife that lived here. And his name was Mr. Alexander McNeil. This is in 1882. And this is just north of Wyerton on Highway 6. There's the plaques I took a picture of. And um, they basically died. And long story short, their son inherited the mansion and partied and drank the money away and let it all fall down. Now it looks like this. But now it's a tourist site under the Gray Sobel Act. Act? Anyway, I imagine it was huge. I mean, it's hard to tell when it's in this sort of condition, but. Now we had people come here last year, and I, I mean this has been sitting here for a long time as a tourist spot, and we had people come here last year, and they tagged it, and was everybody all up in an uproar, I mean everybody in this area knows that you don't do that to these beautiful ruins, a bunch of stupid kids, they got charged, they got caught far as I know. Popular spot, so we're probably going to see some people. A lot of people here today. What do you think that was? I don't know. Maybe just another little fireplace? Or a window? On, on the first floor? Hmm. Those are the basement windows. Right. Yeah, it wasn't. Little fireplace? Because yeah, if you look at it, it's does. got metal. Yeah. Here. And it does go down here, so maybe. And it kind of squares up off the, t the top there. Mm -hmm. This might have been a bedroom. I actually don't know. I'd have to look at the map. And that was probably, what did I guess the kitchen was? This, this fireplace maybe was the kitchen? I don't know. But so far, three fireplaces, you can, you can tell. And of course, this whole wall is gone, so... I already have a video of this on my wall, or on my page, my wall, not Facebook. I already have, I already have a picture, picture, video. It's got music to it. I never vlogged it. Was, last time I came here and tried to vlog this, the camera kept shutting down. So I'm going to keep an eye on my camera. stand back it kind of gives you a perspective of the grandeur of this place I've actually never been around to this side oh it looks like there might have been more over there Really hot out today, and we gotta wear long pants because our ticks are dangerous.
Beautiful spot. I don't think I want to go down the spiral stairs. No. No. I'm sore already from walking. And this thing films for 10 minutes and shuts off and I gotta restart it. Oh, All along here, both sides, was Mrs. Alexander's rose gardens. Some people say that you can smell roses when you're out here. It's known to be haunted. People have reported all kinds of different stuff. But, uh, like we were out here at night, right? Yes. And we were more afraid of what animals are going to come out of this lovely woods than we were anything. Nothing happened. We heard no noises. Didn't I almost die last time coming back up? Yes. Great. I'm heavier now. I should actually have a heart attack. This is the view from here, which would have been different back in 1882, guys. Um, not, not so many trees. But, um... Yeah, this is the spiral staircase. It goes all the way down to a private beach. That Scott's going to go down and take pictures and I'm not. I'm going to go to the barn. So I'll put those pictures up from him. What? Go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah guys there's nothing but woods all around us well, there's a trail up there it's called spirit rock the reason it's called spirit rock is because an Indian girl jumped to her death there. I'm not sure the circumstances as to why she jumped to her death. But she jumped to her death there. So that's why, and there's still people that take like, and I mean this is years and years and years and years ago, and there's still people that, uh, that take flowered wreaths and stuff and put it like um, a memorial, a monument, no, what do you call it? You know what I'm talking about. They still hold one there in that spot for that girl. I put my shades on. I'm afraid they're going to fall off going back up. Here we go, guys. There seems to be a path that way too. I don't know. I don't know where that goes.
can't wear my glasses because I can't see the timer on my camera. No remnants of roses anymore. Just, uh, just these daffodils. They grow wild here. And they probably go wild, wild everywhere. A little bit of mud on this trail. As you can see guys, I'm pretty busy. So this is the fancy entrance to the barn. Oh, this is all mud. So warm my boots. Oh shit. Pretty wet. Yuck. Yeah, I'm gonna get muddy and wet. Oh well. Just taking the other path. Well, my camera shuts off after 15 minutes. So this is the barn, guys. Looks like it was huge. And poison oak. Good thing I'm wearing pants. I should have brought my phone so I could have ran a PVOC session to see if I got any voices. Just because it's daytime doesn't mean you're not going to catch any haunted voices. Yeah, isn't this a great spot? I love it. I love this place. Everybody loves this place. It's a really great spot. You made it. I'm so winded from coming up. <laughs> oh my god. It's hot out here too. Yeah. yeah. You know the bottom of the boats are ridiculous. Oh, are they? Well, I'm so glad we wore pants. There's all kinds of poison ivy and poison oak. Yeah, ticks. I don't know if ticks would bother me. I've never had a tick on me. But I don't want to take the chance. Whatever they're carrying now, I can't remember the name of it, but it kills you. No, Lyme, well, Lyme disease can kill you, but they're carrying something new now. 
They've killed like nine people in Toronto. Yeah, I don't remember the name of it. This is all muddy. How was that trail? Good, full and dry. We'll go that way. Well, guys, thanks for joining me. Um, we're going to go see what else we can find that might be just as beautiful as this. Keep smiling, good fellas.